Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's topic is finding greatest common divisor or the GCD of Gaussian integers. Before we begin, you should note a few things. First of all, unlike our integers, the GCD of Gaussian integers is not unique. That is, if we have alpha as the GCD of two given Gaussian integers, then all its four associates will also be the GCD. If alpha is the GCD, then alpha minus alpha, alpha i minus alpha i, all will be the GCD. And this is the reason we say that GCD is not unique. You know that when we multiply by 1 minus 1 i and minus i, we get the associates of a Gaussian integer. We have already done in the previous video. You can always check. Now, why does it happen? If alpha, beta and gamma are Gaussian integers, then gamma will divide alpha if and only if gamma divides the associate beta. And if alpha divides gamma, this will happen if and only if beta divides gamma. Based on these two results, you can see that all the associates are the GCD. Let's look at some examples to see how GCD is found. In question number one, we are asked to find the GCD of 8 plus 4i and 2 plus 3i. We would be using the Gaussian division algorithm. For that, we will divide 8 plus 4i by 2 plus 3i. Rationalize this by multiplying and dividing by 2 minus 3i upon 2 minus 3i. This on simplifying gives us 20, 88 minus 16 by 13i. Now we will round off these fractions and that will give us a gamma. This I have already explained in the previous video. So the gamma will be 2 minus i. We have rounded off 28 by 13 to 2 and minus 16 by 13 to 1. When we find our delta that would be nothing but 1. You can check that and we will write our 8 plus 4i is equal to 2 plus 3i into 2 minus i plus 1. Let's check the norm. So 0 is less than equal to norm of delta less than norm of beta. 0 is less than equal to norm of 1 is less than norm of 2 plus 3. Now this condition will hold as 0 is less than equal to 1, norm of 1 is 1 and that is less than norm of 2 plus 3i which is 13. Next step we will divide 2 plus 3i by 1. Now this would give us 2 plus 3i is equal to 1 into 2 plus 3i plus 0. So our process stops. We are using Gaussian division lemma. Let me write both the things together. So we have 8 plus 4i is equal to 2 plus 3i into 2 minus i plus 1. Then we have divided 2 plus 3i by this 1. This 2 plus 3i has been divided by 1. This gives us 1 into 2 plus 3i plus 0. As we have got a 0 as the remainder, we stop. So 1 is the GCD from these two steps. If 1 is the GCD, then all its associates are also GCD. So the GCD is 1 minus 1 i and minus i. You can check. They would be dividing 8 plus 4i and 2 plus 3i. They would be dividing 2 plus 3i and 1. This is the whole process. Now, when we round off our fractions, like here, 28 by 13 and 16 by 13, we get a gamma. In the first case, we have taken gamma to be 2 minus i. And you saw that the GCD was nothing but 1 minus 1 i and minus i. I want you to see that if we take another gamma, that is, our rounding off is different. Still, we would be getting the same GCD. So, as you are aware, 8 plus 4i upon 2 plus 3i was 28 by 13 minus 16 by 13i. Now, if I round off and take gamma to be 3 minus i, the steps which we would be getting in Gaussian division algorithm are given here. 
and you will see that at every stage your norm the condition would be satisfied here the gcd again comes out to be i and its associates which are nothing but minus i 1 minus 1 So these are the same as what we got earlier. One minus one i and minus one. Now another thing here you saw that in this division I have taken one plus three i. What I have done is in the first step we divide eight plus four i by two plus three i and our gamma is three minus i and delta is minus one plus three i. In the next step we divide 2 plus 3i by 1 plus 3i you can always divide it by minus of 1 plus 3i also which i'll show you later so here you see even if you take ignore the minus sign and take 1 plus 3i you would be getting the same gcds let us see so here in these steps you can see i have now taken in the second step 2 plus 3i is divided by minus of 1 plus 3i and when we continue and complete the process our gcd comes out to be minus i and its associates as we have got earlier Let us do one more question. Here we are asked to find the GCD of five plus three i and three minus two i. So we will first divide five plus three i by three minus two i. Rationalize this. We would be getting nine by thirteen plus. 19 by 13i now let's round off these fractions that would give us a gamma so we are rounding off 9 by 13 as 0 plus 1 into i so we get gamma as i now let's use a gaussian division algorithm so 5 plus 3i would be 3 minus 2i into gamma which is i and if you calculate your delta you will see it would come out to be 3 at this stage if you check you will see that the condition 0 is less than norm of your delta is less than norm of beta would be satisfied now you would be dividing 3 minus 2i by 3 So our next step would be three minus two i is equal to three into at. We would be getting our gamma as one minus i. Your delta would be i. Again, if you check, your condition of norm would be satisfied. In the next step, we would be dividing three this three by i. So three would be nothing but i minus three i plus zero. So what is the GCD? GCD is nothing but i and its associates, which are nothing but i minus i one and minus one. So these are the GCDs of your question. So this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Our next video would be on Fermi and Lucas numbers. For detailed notes and practice. problems you can go to my website www.profprithivajpay.com